everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. I've got a special treat for you guys today. We got the Dell Venue 8 Pro in. It is an 8 inch tablet from Dell, one of two major 8 inch tablets that runs Windows 8.1 that are coming out, the other being Lenovo. Uh, yes, Acer has theirs, but let's be honest, the Lenovo and the Dell are probably the ones that you guys are really thinking about because they're both a little higher quality. Uh, this goes for $299. It's already getting a lot of high praise from people. Paul Thorot seemed to have liked it, liked it a lot. Uh, it comes with 32 gigs of storage. Uh, optional 64 gig version available as well. Of course, you have micro SD expansion. I opted for the 32 gig version because I don't expect to use this as much as my uh, Surface or my actual laptop or desktop even. So uh, this is for more on the couch and so even with a few movies. But hey, throw in a 64 gig micro SD card for all your media. It seems to be pretty much enough, but at least you have the choice. Intel Atom processor, it is the Z3740D. That just rolls off the tongue nicely. All you need to know there, it's a quad-core Atom processor, which is actually kind of the first we're seeing in these 8-inch tablets now, so that's kind of a nice deal. Uh, I would expect a performance increase with that. This does run full Windows 8.1 too, which is, you know, pretty awesome. Uh, 2 gigs of RAM, and then you get 32 gigs of storage, 64 optional HD Intel integrated graphics. Other than that, you get your typical stuff there, wireless and Bluetooth, micro SD card reader, 5 megapixel uh, camera on the rear. You also get a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera, and then you get the battery. Uh, pretty great device so far in specs alone, especially for the 299 price point. And let's take a look here at the box. We'll open her up, and we'll see what's inside. So there you go, nice little glossy <laughs> cover there. And we'll take it out. Now, what makes the... Um, this device, a lot of people seem to like a lot about it, is the rear cover is sort of a rubberized uh, feel right there. You can see it. It's um, I'll probably take high quality pictures of this, but it's sort of rigid. It's rigid. It's almost like a um, a fingerprint, a giant rubberized fingerprint. And so it's uh, adds a little bit of grippiness to it. It's not ridiculous, so it's not super super grippy, but it's definitely you know not a, a smooth plastic, so it should be easy to hold. Other than that, you got the Dell logo on there with the Intel inside. No Windows logo, of course, which is kind of interesting. There's your five megapixel shooter, which is pretty good. And then there's the device itself. As you can see, it's pretty big. I can definitely hold it one-handed though, which is kind of nice. Uh, for thinness, can't argue with that. It is pretty thin. Uh, it's supposedly even thinner than the Android version uh, of the same device. And then you have the power button there on top. Who knows if this actually has any juice in it. And it doesn't look like it. But we'll put that to the side see what happens. Take a look inside the box here. And then you got your do not discard. Look at this. They actually do give you your license for Windows, which is pretty nice. Um, although most current devices and hardware actually write the Windows license to the BIOS, so you don't, the actual chipset on the device, they don't need to actually write it down. Got your quick instruction set here, plug it in, charge it up. It does charge via um, micro USB, which is actually really good. No proprietary chargers. I'm always a big fan of that because God knows proprietary is awful, especially when you're in a pinch. Other than that, Speaking of, got your typical USB wall charger, of which, if you're like me, oh, look at that. They actually put the little Windows logo on there, which is kind of nice. Should be easier to find. And then you have your, you can open this up here. And there's your charger plug. Like I said, micro USB, USB plug there. Uh, pretty good there for Dell. Like I said, I'm pretty excited about that. On that, got your safety information. Uh, I should have the cover arriving too, uh, but that's in a separate shipment apparently. So, uh, and the stylus. So we'll see when that actually appears. But there you go. I'm going to pause this now, boot up the device, and we'll come back and take a quick tour of the actual device itself. Hey everybody. Okay, we're back here after unboxing the Dell Venue 8, and now it's on, and I synced it all up, and here we go. Let's take a little quick look and tour of the device. Uh, probably one of the first things that's kind of interesting is just that. Uh, you can see the rotation is pretty quick, but there's no Windows key. There actually is. It's on top here. Uh, you can even see it has a little Windows logo. So it's pretty unusual. I'm not a huge fan of it, I'll be honest. I really kind of wish there was something on the front bezel for me to just tap and go back to the screen. So if I go back to the desktop, of course... You can, uh, let me close that Dell updater, if I could. Remind me later. Come on, Dell. <laughs> um, of course, you can hit the little window key here, but basically in any app, you know, you have to either swipe and, 
you know, use that button, which isn't too bad, but if you're used to using like an actual physical key, it's up here on the top or side, depending how you're holding the device. It's a little weird, it's not a deal killer, but it is a little strange. Let's go to the top of the device here. Uh, you have the power button right here. Uh, that's a micro USB charger, your volume controls. Over here is the micro, uh, U, uh, micro SD, sorry, slot, which you can pop in, which is kind of interesting. And then on the bottom here, you have a single solitary speaker, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, you know, it's not huge. It's not stereo. You don't have one on each side, which is kind of uh, would be even better. But it is pretty loud and it cranks. Uh, you know, it'll get the job done, I think. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much the device. As you can see, you got the rubberized texture back, which I told you guys about before. And a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, you have the other camera right up here to 1.2 megapixel, uh, which is pretty decent. Uh, other than that, though, that is pretty much the device. Uh, let's go back here to the main screen and see if I can get the little rotation to switch. Rotation is pretty good overall. Not a huge, uh, you know, issue here. Like I said, this is running a quad core processor. You can see how well uh, the web pages work on here. There's your typical pinch to zoom kind of working. Let's click an article. Now I'm actually using this over a tethered connection as opposed to uh, my normal Wi-Fi. But you can see it actually loads pretty pretty quickly here. Uh, no complaints there. Uh, I think the quad-core Atom processor is just more than adequate than for uh, you know running this full version of Windows. But I haven't installed all my apps yet, but you can see over here you know, just how quickly this is. It does come with 8.1, and you get your Office apps. And there's some Dell, uh, not too much. You know, they have their you know, check for updates and that kind of thing. Dell Digital Delivery, Dell Update, My Dell. Uh, let me close that. PC Checkup and register my PC. So not much in the way here of too much, you know, bloatware, uh, which is always a good thing. I did have to run a couple updates, which is typical. It's like by 150 megs for Windows updates. But over the overall, it's been pretty good. We don't know yet for battery life. It's supposed to be upwards of 10 hours. I actually expect that to be the case because of, you know, the low voltage processor on board here and seeing it's only an 8-inch device. But overall, uh, pretty impressive with the Dell Venue 8. I think it's a solid device. Uh, should you get this over, say, a Surface, that's really hard to say. Uh, you can get the optional digitizer pen, which is coming in a separate shipment for me, so you can use it on here. It's not a Wacom. It's a Synaptics, I believe. It's pen op uh, battery-operated. It's a little bit different. Uh, you know, this doesn't have the click-on keyboard. It doesn't have a kickstand. So it is very different from a Surface. But to throw in your bag and just use for media, playing movies, surfing the internet, I think it's pretty cool to use, especially like if you're just sitting on the couch or on an airplane. There you go. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. We'll have some photos and my thoughts on it there. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Take care, everybody.